What's up guys? It's Alex and I've been gone for a little bit of time now. Don't worry, it's not gonna happen anymore. You got my promise. And the Logitech MX Master 3 for Mac is officially out and the MX Keys is officially out. Both from Logitech, both for the iPad Pro and we all know how much we like the iPad. So let's get into this. I've tried a lot of different mice on the iPad Pro and a lot of different keyboards on the iPad Pro. Some of them good, some of them not so good. And for the most part, everything that comes from Logitech has been solid. So let's talk about these two guys and how I've been incorporating them into my setup and why I think they're a pretty good choice for a lot of people. So starting with the physical appearance of this mouse, it looks pretty much the same. Doesn't really look that changed. There's a couple of tweaked color profiles you can get it with now, but it still takes influence from those exotic cars. And they had a bunch of videos of them crafting this mouse very similarly to how they'd craft a car and the exotic curves on a Lamborghini, for example. It's very similar. So it still has the MagSpeed electromagnetic scroll wheel. It's really great. It's very tactile and you can have it in a mode where you just scroll or you can have it in a hyper scroll mode where you can scroll really fast and really far. So Logitech is still giving us the ability to do that on this mouse. Now, when it comes to the buttons, left click and right click are tactile and they're also silent. So you don't have to worry about loud clicky buttons and you get nice feedback on a click, left click, right click, you're covered, it's all pretty nice as, you know, we expect from the MX Master. Ergonomics are as solid as they've always been. My thumb always feels to fall right in place. My hand is extremely comfortable with this mouse as it's always been. And there are now some Mac OS shortcuts baked into this mouse. Now, they don't really necessarily work perfectly on an iPad Pro. They're more tweaked for Mac. So if you're doing Final Cut or Photoshop on a Mac, you do have these shortcuts that are baked into the mouse. If you're going to be editing on a Mac or something, you can take advantage of it. However, we're just gonna be focusing on the iPad Pro side of things. This mouse also supports Logitech's flow system. So if you wanna jump from an iPad to a Mac or to a PC, you can do that. Meaning you do have the ability to connect it to up to three devices at once and switch through them with this little button. So Logitech makes it pretty easy. And I've always been such a huge fan of this flow system. So it continues to be there. The sensor is still a 4,000 DPI sensor. It's not anything crazy like we've seen on some gaming mice that go up to 16,000 DPI. It's not really necessary. You don't really need that insane sensitivity because no one's gonna be using that on a mouse like this. So 4,000 DPI has been excellent. Tracking is great. And here's another thing too. Connectivity has been solid. I noticed that with the MX Master 3, I had some Bluetooth issues. Sometimes, occasionally it would disconnect. This one has had no problems whatsoever switching through all different devices at once and having no Bluetooth issues at all. Mouse is also charging through USB-C and charge time is pretty ridiculous. One minute of charging will get you three hours of usage and you can get up to 70 day battery life on this guy. And when it comes to tracking and overall compatibility with iPad OS, it's really good. I have had no issues tracking on a straight desk. Sometimes some mice have a couple hiccups when you're tracking on a desk, not on a mouse pad, and it even tracks on glass. So if you got a glass desk and you're gonna have that mouse on the desk, you're not gonna have an issue. You don't need a mouse pad. I use it without a mouse pad, no problem. Works perfectly on iPad OS, no hiccups. So, so far so good. The MX Master 3 ended up solving some issues that the MX Master 2 had. These two little buttons on the side are much more comfortable. You can reach them without having any problems. So the mouse has been really solid. Now moving on to the MX keys, this keyboard makes a great complement to the MX Master 3. So it's also space gray and color match. So everything has that space gray uniformity. The keys are also backlit with a proximity sensor, meaning it's not gonna drain the battery life consistently by having the backlight on. It's gonna sense anytime you're near the keyboard or anytime your hands hover over the keyboard, then the backlight is gonna turn on. So it works great in low light environments. The keyboard is within the Mac layout, so you have all your Mac shortcuts if you're gonna be using it on Mac, and all the keys are laser printed, so you shouldn't have a problem with keys wearing off. And here's another thing too that I noticed, in terms of actually grabbing onto the keys, you're not gonna be slipping around that much. They have this dome indent where your finger just nicely rests on it. I found that to be really nice, especially when sometimes you'll be typing on a keyboard and you'll be slipping around. I found that to be even better than the actual native Apple keyboard. It's also Logitech Flow compatible, so you can switch amongst three different devices. And when it comes to Bluetooth and connectivity on the MX keys, it works pretty much the same as the MX Master. It's really good. It supports the Logitech Flow system, like I've said before. So you can connect between three different devices at once, swap between them. Logitech does this system pretty good. Also USB-C, so your iPad Pro can be USB-C, your mouse, your keyboard, all USB-C. Happy guy. And when it comes to the battery life, you can get about 10 days per charge on it with some pretty heavy usage and five months with the backlight disabled. So 
Battery life is not really a concern on this wireless keyboard. So overall, I've been using this combo for a little bit of time now and I haven't had any issues. I've swapped between PC and iPad straight on my desk without any problems. Web browsing, scrolling, iPad OS, it's been pretty flawless for the most part. And it's pretty much my favorite combo right now. So if you guys like these type of videos for iPad accessories, let me know in the description down below. Catch you guys in the next one. Stay safe.